Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new week as we come and I bring you even more really quality job opportunities. Today, we are going to get into some opportunities from Frontier themselves. And of course, I have some really great bonus opportunities as well for you. So stay tuned to see all of the roles I have so that you can see which one is a better fit for you based on your career goals. Let's hop right into the very first opportunity I have for you. Today, we are bringing you a technical support specialist role through Zapier. If you don't know what, who, or where Zapier is all about, here's a little details and a little bit of the tea on Zapier. In a nutshell, Zapier is a platform, a company that allows web integrations with applications to assist with automated workflows and processes so you don't have to use people to push buttons to make things happen. Zapier sends different technical translations from systems to systems so things can merge and be connected together. So with this role, it is going to be on an Eastern Standard Time Zone. They do have a weekend shift, and this is actually a part-time role. This role is going to be on an Eastern Standard Time Zone. It is more of a part-time position. They have shifts on the weekends from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then they also do have additional shifts weekdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 3.30 Eastern Time. Now, more Moving on down, in the U.S., you can look to be paid about $58,000 to $88,000 annually for this role, and it is going to offer equity in the company and then also bonuses, which is a really great starting point, especially for it to be more so part-time hours. Getting more into what they're looking for from you, they want to make sure that you're highly skilled in technical support and have worked for at least two years and experience with customer support in the SaaS or software industry. It would be even better if you do have previous experience with troubleshooting APIs. If you worked in a ticketing system like Zendesk or something like that, that is also going to help you in the candidate pool. If you're highly productive and you bring a game to the queue every day, if helping customers get you excited and you're passionate about finding ways to improve your skills and help drive productivity they want to hear from you you're also going to need a problem solver and be able to solution customer issues be able to look for ways to level up your knowledge and skills and produce high quality work you need to also keep it simple and just also understand that you are going to have to do some complex research when resolving issues because of how zapier works and their actual service offerings Zapier works with multiple different companies and multiple different software companies. So you're going to need to understand how the crossover and how to look for solutions within other softwares as well. If you love doing things efficiently, if you're empathetic for customers, if you love to write, that's going to be really great because you're going to have to have really great written and communication skills. If you're highly accountable, that's going to be great. If you are a champion for change and you're able to set your own course by thriving in an environment where you can work independently while also assisting customers and while also being a part of a team dynamic. Now with this role, getting more into the things you'll do, what I do like about Zapier is they are a remote first company. What is a remote first company? It's where they believe that being able to work remotely is the number one thing that they really build their whole entire workforce on. So I really like to bring you guys companies like this because we know for a fact they're going to always have some remote opportunities available for you. Now, with that being said, you also do have a whole lot of opportunities to transition into new roles that are also remote to level up your career within the company because a lot of their positions are remote. You can hop on different projects, deal with different teammates in different departments. So it's really good in that aspect as well. It doesn't tie you to a specific location and only being able to really talk and interact and build relationships with the people people in those locations, you'll have the actual whole entire company who majority of those people work from home. You're going to help customers via email or chat to ensure that they have the best experience. You'll work looking for flexible support teams. You'll meet and exceed individual performance metrics. You'll help teammates by answering questions in Slack when someone is stuck. You'll share knowledge through talking in Slack updates and contribute to strategic programs such as helping to hone their virtual assistant content. 
And then getting down here, they have more ways of how you can definitely apply. You just come down and you apply here. So if you are interested in the Zapier Pro, make sure you head on over and get that application in for this tech support specialist position. Moving to our next opportunity, this is going to be with Truist Bank. This one is their marketing and social media professional role. It is a remote position. Getting more into the details of this actual position, it is going to be first shift no matter where you are in the United States. You're going to develop and implement marketing plans and other marketing projects, coordinate with related companies to initiate internal sales. You'll maintain the bank's social media presence by creating marketing pieces that do include like graphic design work. You'll help to create PowerPoint presentations, participate in development of branding and corporate identity initiatives, conducting market research and staying abreast of competitor positioning and pricing. You'll contribute to new business development initiatives and identify creative opportunities for the company salespeople. Now, what are they looking for from you? You're going to need a bachelor's degree or equivalent experience in related training, which is three to four years of actual equivalent experience. You'll need four plus years of well-rounded marketing experience, outstanding communication and interpersonal skills. Be a passionate customer advocate throughout knowledge of marketing principles, brand products, and sales management, demonstrate proficiency in basic computer applications like that Microsoft Office software like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and have knowledge of graphic design. Now, it does get more into the actual entity that you'll be assisting with under Truist, and then it does get into more of what you'll be paid. So this role is paying anywhere between $60,000 to $70,000 annually per year, and then you will get some of those really great benefits like medical, dental, vision, life insurance, disability, accidental death and dismemberment insurance, tax preferred savings accounts, and 401k retirement. You're also going to get 10 days of vacation, 10 days of sick time, and a slew of other benefits as well. So if you are interested in this marketing and social media professional role, head on over to Truist Bank and get your application in. Heading into our next opportunity with our friends at Frontier Airlines, this is going to be their customer ad advocacy analyst role. It is completely remote and getting more into the details of what this role entails. I would like to also let you know you can definitely apply no matter where you are anywhere in the United States. You'll get flight benefits where you and your family can fly for free. You'll be able to also offer your friends buddy passes to travel. You'll get discounts throughout the travel industry like hotels, rental cars, cruises, and vacation packages. You'll get discounts on cell phone plans, movie tickets, restaurants, luggage, and over 20,000 other vendors. They have a dress for your day business casual environment. You have flexible work schedules that support work-life balance, total rewards, compensation-based salary packages that also include paid holidays, 401k with the company match, vacation and sick time, medical, dental, and vision insurance. And it begins on the very first day that you're hired, which is great because a lot of companies do not offer that. You have to go through a probationary period first. Moving on down to what you'll do within this role, you're going to collect, analyze, and interpret data from various sources that do include customer complaints, surveys, and operation metrics to identify trends, patterns, and areas of opportunity. You'll locate the root cause and conduct thorough analysis to understand the underlying reasons for customer complaints and dissatisfaction. And that does include issues that are related to disability accommodations. You'll prepare and deliver comprehensive reporting and presentation presentation findings, trends, and actionable insights to the director of customer advocacy and leadership across Frontier Airlines. You'll develop and maintain dashboards and metric tracking to monitor performance and progress towards reducing and eliminating areas of opportunity within a complaint processes. You'll collaborate cross-functionally with different departments that do include customer service, operations, legal, and accessibility teams. You'll also continuously make sure that you're improving, identify opportunities for process improvement, policy enhancements, and training initiatives, and then serve as a trusted advisor to leadership by providing data-driven insights and recommendations to inform strategic decision-making and prioritize initiatives aimed at enhancing the customer 
customer experience. Now, if you do have a bachelor's degree in business data analytics or statistics, they're all gonna be great. They're gonna be pluses. It is preferred, but it's not needed to get the role. You're just gonna need that high school diploma educationally, okay? And then the minimum of experience you're gonna need is two to three years in a data analyst, business intelligence or customer advocacy role is preferred in the airline industry. If you're familiar with regulation requirements and industry standards that are related to customer rights and accommodations, particularly in the context sp specifically within air travel, that is going to definitely help you. Some of the other skills and abilities that you're going to need is having an analytical and decision-making mind, being able to interact with integrity and high levels of professionalism with all levels of customer teammates and management, working knowledge of DOT regulations, Department of Travel regulations that impact impact airline travel, especially complaint handling, knowledge of various software programs, having strong analytical skills and being able to visualize and input and use tools such as Microsoft Excel, Taboola and other softwares. You're going to need to be an excellent communicator, detailed oriented, be able to work independently and collaboratively, be able to prioritize and coordinate multiple tasks and be passionate about customer advocacy and commitment to driving positive positive change throughout data-driven insights and continuous improvement initiatives. Now, what are you going to need? You're definitely going to need office equipment that does include a actual computer to be able to do the job. And then this role is based out of the headquarters in Denver, Colorado. However, you can work anywhere in the U.S. being remote as this is a remote position. Now, this specific role is paying $48,000 to $69,000 annually. If you are interested in this role, get that application in quickly as it is going to definitely be closing by the 19th, which is this week. So make sure you do not sleep on this role and you get your application in so you can get in for interviews. Once again, this is their customer advocacy role with Frontier and this is a analyst role. Heading over to our next opportunity, this is the customer advocacy role. This is the supervisor role to the last role and the details of this role, you still get all of those really great benefits like the medical, dental, vision, the 401k with the company match, the vacation time, and all of the great, great things. You'll get the flight benefits, the buddy passes, the discounts at multiple different vendors, the casual dressing, really flexible work-life balance because they offer flexible work schedules. This one, you're going to be more of a team leader, right? So you're going to need to provide leadership and managerial services for this role within the customer relationship department. You'll oversee, investigate, and resolve internal Department of Transportation escalated complaints. You'll ensure that all responses and resolutions align with the established policy procedures and regulatory requirements. You'll collaborate with various departments. You'll train and develop your staff. You'll make sure that performance management is monitored within your staff and improve and implement strategies for efficiency effectiveness and customer solutions and satisfactions. You'll document and report overseeing the accurate record and documentation of complaints, investigations, resolutions, and things of that nature. You'll continuously improve, identify trends of, and patterns, root causes of customer complaints. You'll also ensure that within the customer relationship management that you are compliant with Department of Transportation complaint requirements and then also building relationships with internal stakeholders cross-functional team members leadership those kinds of functional department now the qualifications for this role is an associate's or bachelor's degree that is a preferred qualification so it's a plus if you have it you're also going to need a high school diploma or ged that is a required one you're going to need a minimum of five years of experience in customer service consumer relations call center or similar field experience in super supervising or leading teams with a focus on coaching, performance management, and team development, a minimum of two years of airline experience, preferably ATO or reservations. Working within a reservation system is preferred. If you have experience working with customers in a pursuit of finding a solution, that is what they're looking for. You're also going to need to be familiar with certain customer protections regulations by the actual Department of Transportation, have knowledge of multiple other requirements as well. 
be able to demonstrate accurate applying of policies in respect to customer inquiries, be able to manage multiple tasks at once, have working knowledge and understanding of Microsoft Office products like Outlook, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, have really great conflict resolution skills and be able to de-escalate customer issues, have really great verbal and written communication skills, have working knowledge of social media networks such as Facebook and Twitter, be able to respect privacy issues concerning property and confidentiality, proven letter writing abilities, including high proficiency in grammar and spelling, be able to work within a corporate environment, including interactions with various levels of management, and be excellent at organizational skills and high levels of attention to detail. You are going to need a PC, copy or fax machine, printer combo. And then this specific managerial role is paying $48,000 to $69,000 annually. Because it is a supervisor role, you definitely can get more money. This role does also close on the 19th of April. So make sure if you're interested that you do get that application in very soon and very quickly. Now, if you are wondering how to update your resume for jobs just like this one, I do have a resume keyword guide that gives you over 300 different resume keywords and over 11 different industries to help you level up your resume really, really quickly. It gives you all of the keywords you're going to need for jobs just like this one and all of the jobs that we went over. It's going to give you those keywords to help make sure that your resume goes through the system seamlessly and gets in the hands of actual recruiters and hiring managers and HR professionals. With the resume keyword guide, you'll also get some additional resources as well. So if you're ready to take all of the guesswork out of updating your resume and you're ready to just get the resume revised so you can get applying for jobs just like this one, make sure you get the resume keyword guide. You can find that down in the description as well as the pinned comments. Now, if you are looking up for a level up from that, something more like a resume template that is already done for you, ready to go. And all you have to do is plug and play your information into it. I do have a resume template library that will be coming to you guys here on YouTube really, really soon. Getting on the wait list for the resume template library will give you immediate access to the library before it goes live on YouTube. You'll also get some additional bonuses that are not going to be offered anywhere else. So definitely if you're interested in resume templates that are already crafted and created and done for you for jobs just like the one we went over, where all you have to do is input your information and keep it moving, definitely make sure you get on the resume template library waitlist. Now, I do want to also give you guys a little quick update that today is going to be the last day that the waitlist is available. We are getting very, very close to it being live. So definitely, if you're interested and you have not got on the wait list yet, make sure you do so now as today is going to be the very last day that the link will be available for you to actually get on the wait list. Okay. Now, if you have not become a part of the official family here on YouTube as of yet, I would love to open the doors to you right now for you to become an official family member by subscribing to the channel, turning that bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified each and every time I drop brand new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on anything. We would love to have you a part of the family here and help you find your next really high paying remote job opportunity. So definitely make sure you subscribe right this minute. Until next time, make sure you continue to thrive and you continue to reach for those good old career goals. And as always, I will see you guys in the very next one. Until next time, be blessed. Bye. <laughs>